All right, what's up everybody? Back with another video really quick. And this one here is just gonna be about wrestlers that I personally wish I could have met um, that I'll never get a chance to. And my list could be completely different than yours. Keep in mind, I've been watching wrestling for many years. But wrestlers I wish I could have met. Um, either I was too young, never in the right place, or they died before I got into wrestling. Things like that happen. Um, one of the top guys on my list, without a doubt, is Mr. Perfect. Now, uh, yes, I was clearly old enough to meet him before he passed and stuff like that, but I never got a chance to. And uh, Mr. Perfect, to me, in my opinion, I think he's the greatest wrestler of all time to never win the big one. Uh, that's my opinion. You you might have a different wrestler in your mind, you know, but I think he's right up there with the flares, the steamboats, the stone cold. I think I think he's up there when it comes to to the best of the best. Um, obviously, he's below them, you know, in almost everybody's eyes because he never quite got you know the the big one. You know, never got the championship, never got the main title. He was never the guy. Um, there was reasons for that. Obviously, Bret Hart, Hulk Hogan, all kinds of people that were holding the title at the time. Not saying that Bret Hart didn't, become, didn't deserve to be champion. He certainly did. But I would have loved to see Bret Hart versus uh, Mr. Perfect for the title and Perfect go over at least once to get that title. Um, my opinion, like I said. Uh, but he is definitely... Prob he's got to be first on my list of wrestlers I wish I could have met. Because uh, anyone that knows wrestling has to... If you don't like Mr. Perfect, you got to respect how good he truly was in the ring. Um, in my opinion, he's the best of the best. Uh, he's right up there, you know, with Flair, with uh, with all these guys, you know. And uh, he just never got he never got that title, you know. They talk about, uh, you know, did he make it? Obviously, he did he's one of the greatest Intercontinental Champions of all time. The fact that they say Honky Tonk Man is the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time is a joke. I mean, if you if you count longevity, I guess. I mean, he didn't really do anything with the title. Mister Perfect did more with that title in a month than than uh, Honky Tonk Man did his entire career as Intercontinental Champion. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. Um, but, like I said, you know, uh, Mr. Perfect versus Chris Jericho would be fantastic. I mean, two of the best Intercontinental Champs of all time. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's one guy I love to have got to meet. Uh, another guy, I'm just going to give you one more here because I don't want to, you know, make this video too long. And... Uh, but another guy I would have really loved to have got to meet would have been a macho man, Randy Savage. Another another guy that I could have met, just never was old enough to go do my own thing and go meet these guys, you know. Um, macho man, another guy that's at that top of the list, and I really hope he goes in the Hall of Fame soon because he's a first ballot, no doubt about it. And uh, someone like CM Punk would be a great person to induct him because CM Punk, a lot of people don't realize the respect that CM Punk has for Macho Man Randy Savage, you know, um, he just does, and anyone that knows, uh, CM Punk knows the respect, and it's not just CM Punk, there's a lot of wrestlers that, you know, respect and, and acknowledge the, the impact of Randy Savage has had in the business, and, but the reason I'm bringing CM Punk up is because as far as the modern guys, he's the best one to induct him, in my opinion, um, but yeah, I would have loved to have got to meet Randy Savage, let me know who you would have liked to meet, uh, give me, just, just put some in the comments, some wrestlers that you would have got, loved to have got to meet. Maybe some wrestlers that are still alive that you want to meet in the future. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you could. Subscribe. More videos to come, guys. Thank you so much for uh, all the support and all the, all the subscribers and help me uh, do what I love to do, and that's talk wrestling. Thanks a lot, guys.